welcome to my youtube channel electrical boost today we are going to learn nodal analysis okay. it is a it is one of the method one of the method to analysis the circuit or you can say we analysis the complicated circuit okay okay let's here here we apply kcl plus ohms law in your previous in mass analysis we apply kvl plus ohms law here node analysis kcl plus ohms law we know kcl is summation of i equal to 0 or algebraic sum of current admitting at the node is equal to 0 and plus i equal to b by r okay let's try a circuit okay let this one is a circuit this is v1 okay uh, this one register okay this is another register okay and this is one register and a voltage source okay let this is v2 okay this is let this is 2 ohm okay this is 3 ohm this is 4 ohm this is 3 ohm this is 4 ohm okay let's this b1 equal to let put this b1 value is 10 volt and this b2 value is 5 volt okay first our job to find number how number of the node okay let identify what is the node first understand what is the node okay node means node means two more than two more than two branch element are connected in a point okay if more than two branch element are connected in two port is called node let's see here here this one is node one node and this in this one is another node and also you can say this one or this one total a one of node okay but we take here see here here there is three node okay here there is three node but in node analysis we take one node as reference node one node one node as reference reference node okay let we take this node as reference node or ground symbol okay and this is one node and this is two node okay let assume let assume this node voltage is va and this node voltage is vb here we apply apply kcl okay kcl plus ohms law if we assume node 1 let if you write a node 1 equation this voltage is always higher potential okay let write the equation here we write the equation okay see here node 1 okay node 1 
okay this is let i1 this is i2 this is i3 okay let this is i1 apply node equation i1 at kcl i1 plus i2 plus i3 equal to 0 okay then apply ohm's law here you see here b i1 equal to i1 equal to how much b a minus b1 because b a is the higher potential always b a minus b1 so write b a minus b1 divided by or b1 means here b1 means 10 volt okay by 2 okay b by r equal to i then plus b a b a minus reference reference means ground b a minus 0 divided by 3 ohm okay then plus b a minus b b b a minus b b divided by 4 ohm is equal to 0 if you modify this equation this is b a minus 10 divided by 2 then plus b a by 3 then plus b a minus 5 by 4 ohm okay is equal to 0 this is our node 1 equation okay then we write node 2 equation okay node 2 equation okay if you write node 2 equation we consider vb or <coughs> second node is always higher potential so that current will flow in like that manner like this is i1 this is i2 and this is Okay, let's write the equation here also I1 plus I2 plus I3 equal to 0. Okay, let I1 is your how much VB VB minus VA by by VB minus VA VB VB minus VA by 4 then plus then plus bb minus 0 bb minus 0 okay. bb minus 0 by how much 3 ohm 3 ohm bb minus 0 by 3 ohm then then plus i3 equal to bb minus this much or b 2 b 2 b 2 divided by 4 ohm okay equal to 0 then remodify this b b minus b a divided by 4 plus b b by 3 then plus b b minus 5 uh, 5 b minus 5 by 4 equal to 0 uh, sorry one of the mistake is here one here b b b a minus b b i put also b b sorry this is also b b okay this is also b b okay uh, here we got two equation one from node 1 one from node 1 and one from node Two. If we solve those two equations, we can find the node two potential of the node. Then you can also find this I one and I two, then I three. Okay. In our next class, we are going to solve some numerical problem using nodal list method. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and comment, please. Thank you.